IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a piece of advice you would give to someone starting a new job. What is the advice you would give? Why is this advice important for someone starting a new job? How can following this advice benefit the individual in their professional journey? Have you personally applied this advice in your own career? Embarking on a new professional voyage is akin to setting sail into uncharted waters. The advice I would impart to those initiating their journey in a novel job role is to cultivate a mindset of adaptability and resilience. This counsel, while seemingly straightforward, holds profound importance in the realm of new employments. First and foremost, adaptability is the cornerstone of success in any professional endeavor. In a new job, one encounters diverse challenges ranging from unfamiliar protocols to novel team dynamics. Without adaptability, these hurdles may seem insurmountable, stifling both productivity and personal growth. By embracing change and remaining flexible in the face of adversity, one can navigate the tumultuous seas of the unfamiliar with ease. Additionally, resilience acts as a shield against the inevitable setbacks that accompany new beginnings. Starting a new job can be daunting, fraught with moments of self-doubt and uncertainty. However, by cultivating resilience, individuals can weather these storms and emerge stronger than before. Rather than succumbing to the pressures of the unknown, resilient individuals persevere, using setbacks as opportunities for growth and development. Following this advice can profoundly benefit individuals in their professional journey. Adaptability fosters agility, enabling individuals to swiftly acclimate to new environments and excel in their roles. Moreover, resilience instills a sense of fortitude, empowering individuals to overcome obstacles and emerge triumphant in the face of adversity. Together, these qualities form the bedrock upon which successful careers are built, propelling individuals towards unparalleled heights of achievement. Reflecting on my own career trajectory, I can attest to the transformative power of adaptability and resilience. As a young professional navigating the labyrinthine corridors of the corporate world, I encountered myriad challenges that tested my mettle. However, by embracing change and remaining steadfast in my pursuit of excellence, I was able to surmount these obstacles and carve out a niche for myself in the competitive landscape of my industry. In conclusion, the advice to cultivate adaptability and resilience serves as a guiding beacon for those embarking on new professional endeavors. By embracing change and remaining steadfast in the face of adversity, individuals can chart a course towards unparalleled success in their chosen field. As I navigate the ever-evolving landscape of my own career, I remain steadfast in my commitment to these guiding principles, knowing that they will serve me well in all my future endeavors. IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a piece of advice you would give to someone starting a new job. What is the advice you would give? Why is this advice important for someone starting a new job? How can following this advice benefit the individual in their professional journey? Have you personally applied this advice in your own career? Starting a new job is often a daunting yet exhilarating experience. The piece of advice I would give to someone embarking on this journey is to cultivate a proactive mindset. This entails taking initiative, seeking out opportunities for growth, and not waiting passively for tasks to be assigned or problems to be solved by others. This advice is pivotal for several reasons. Firstly, a proactive mindset demonstrates enthusiasm and commitment, qualities that are highly valued in any workplace. By taking the initiative, you show your superiors and colleagues that you are dedicated to contributing positively to the organization. This can significantly enhance your reputation and help you to quickly establish yourself as a valuable team member. Moreover, being proactive allows you to seize opportunities that might otherwise pass you by. In many organizations, the most successful individuals are those who actively seek out new projects, volunteer for challenging tasks, and constantly look for ways to improve processes. This approach can lead to accelerated career advancement, as it showcases your ability to handle responsibility and drive positive change. Following this advice can yield numerous benefits throughout your professional journey. Proactivity breeds competence, 
By continuously engaging with new tasks and challenges, you inevitably develop a broader skill set and deeper industry knowledge. This, in turn, makes you more adaptable and resilient in the face of change, a crucial trait in today's fast-paced work environments. Additionally, being proactive often leads to greater job satisfaction. When you take control of your professional development, you are more likely to feel fulfilled and motivated by your work. On a personal note, I have applied this advice in my own career, and it has been instrumental in my success. Early in my career, I made it a point to volunteer for cross-departmental projects, even when they were outside my comfort zone. This not only expanded my skill set but also allowed me to build a network of contacts across the organization. Furthermore, by taking on additional responsibilities, I was able to showcase my abilities to a broader audience, which played a crucial role in my subsequent promotions. In conclusion, fostering a proactive mindset is invaluable advice for anyone starting a new job. It is a strategy that can greatly enhance your professional reputation, open doors to new opportunities, and lead to a more rewarding career. By embracing this approach, you set yourself on a path of continuous growth and success, ensuring that you are always prepared to tackle the challenges and opportunities that come your way. IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a typical day at work, school, or college. What you do. When you do it. How long you've had this routine. And what would you like to change in your work or study routine? A typical day at work for me follows a meticulously crafted routine that ensures productivity and a harmonious balance between my professional and personal life. My day begins at 7 a.m., when I wake up to the soothing sound of my alarm. After a quick morning ritual, which includes a brisk jog and a hearty breakfast, I head to the office, ready to tackle the day's challenges. I arrive at work by 9 a.m., where I first prioritize my tasks by sifting through emails and gleaning essential information. This initial hour is crucial as it sets the tone for the rest of the day. Once I have a clear roadmap, I dive into my primary responsibilities. As a project manager, my role involves coordinating with various departments, conducting meetings, and ensuring that deadlines are met with precision. The morning is typically spent in strategy sessions and collaborative efforts, which are both invigorating and demanding. By noon, I take a much-needed lunch break, often using this time to rejuvenate and network with colleagues. This informal interaction not only fosters camaraderie, but also provides a platform for brainstorming and sharing innovative ideas. Post-lunch, my focus shifts to more analytical tasks, such as reviewing progress reports, troubleshooting issues, and making necessary adjustments to project plans. This period requires a high level of concentration and meticulousness. The day winds down around 5 p.m. when I prepare a comprehensive summary of the day's achievements and set the agenda for the next day. However, my work is far from over, I often spend an additional hour addressing any urgent matters or finalizing crucial details to ensure a seamless workflow. I finally leave the office around 6 p.m., feeling a sense of accomplishment and anticipation for the next day's endeavors. I have adhered to this routine for the past three years, and while it has undeniably augmented my efficiency, there are aspects I wish to change. One significant alteration would be incorporating more flexibility into my schedule. The rigid structure, while effective, can sometimes stifle creativity and lead to burnout. I aspire to allocate time for professional development courses and attend industry conferences to stay abreast of the latest trends and innovations. Additionally, I would like to integrate more mindfulness practices into my day to enhance my mental well-being and overall productivity. In summary, my typical workday is a blend of structured tasks and dynamic interactions, meticulously designed to achieve optimal results. However, Embracing flexibility and continuous learning could significantly enrich my professional journey, fostering both personal growth and sustained success. IELTS Speaking Part 2 Topic Describe a job you have done in the past which you particularly enjoyed. What the job consisted of. Who you worked for. What part job was challenging. 
and explain why you find this job so enjoyable. In the past, I had the pleasure of working as a tour guide during my college summers, an experience that remains vivid in my memory. This role primarily involved leading groups of tourists through historical sites and cultural landmarks in my hometown. I was employed by a reputable local travel agency renowned for its commitment to providing enriching cultural experiences. My responsibilities ranged from delivering informative historical narratives to ensuring the safety and enjoyment of the tourists under my guidance. One of the most challenging aspects of the job was adapting to the diverse needs and expectations of different groups, each composed of individuals from various cultural backgrounds and age groups. What made this job particularly enjoyable was the opportunity to immerse myself in my city's rich history and share its stories with people from around the globe. Interacting with curious travelers, I could see their fascination as they discovered new aspects of our culture and history. Moreover, being outdoors and exploring historical sites daily was incredibly rewarding, allowing me to cultivate a deep appreciation for my heritage while honing my storytelling abilities. The job also provided me with invaluable interpersonal skills and insight into the tourism industry, which I found immensely fulfilling. Navigating the complexities of cross-cultural communication and overcoming language barriers became second nature, enhancing both my confidence and adaptability. Moreover, witnessing the joy and satisfaction on the faces of tourists as they learned and explored left a lasting impression on me. In conclusion, being a tour guide was not just a job but a passion that allowed me to connect with people from diverse backgrounds, share my love for history, and contribute to unforgettable experiences for others. The blend of intellectual stimulation and cultural immersion made this role exceptionally rewarding, leaving me with cherished memories and a deep appreciation for the power of storytelling in fostering understanding and appreciation across cultures. Hope you liked our video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to keep us motivated.